it's now after one on moving day. We're meant to settle at two. Um, I'm just sitting in the car with Edward. I've cleaned up everything I can outside and the removalists are just busy inside still. Just finishing up now, actually. Uh, nightmare morning, new owners. Which has been absolute words. I probably can't play video. Kids cracked it. He's had enough. Everyone's had enough. We're all exhausted. He didn't sleep. We didn't sleep. So he's just free ranging in the car. He's actually about to pick up my father-in-law's ashes. Not in that bag. That's a bag of kid treats. He's not going to eat him. Um, yeah. So the the owners are saying the new owners are saying that they're going to withhold funds. They're going to cancel settlement and stuff because the grass was too long on the horse farm where you want grass and that they wanted proof that we were moving out because on Saturday we still had our stuff in there. Well, funnily enough, we don't settle till today so we can't move out because our house settles, the new house settles at the same time. Simultaneous, simultaneous That's settlement. Okay. Thank you. That's okay. So yeah, so okay. had a good cry, <laughs> had a good yell, talked to my mum a couple of times. They're coming around to look at the place again now to prove that we're leaving. I don't know what else we can do. I just hope that this all gets sorted and we settle it too and this can just all be something I could possibly laugh at soon. I've got to keep this one busy a bit longer and then I'm going to head up to the farm and sit and wait and try and take some deep breaths and then I'm looking forward to a long hot shower and an early night. I'm not even going to unpack anything except for the bed. I just... I'm done. Done, done, done. It's three o'clock. Settlement was meant to happen at two. Hasn't happened yet. Our bank delayed because they're... No, I'm not going to throw in the video. <laughs> so I'm just sitting at the front looking at this beautiful view. Whoop. Look at that. House tour. Fireplace. So carpet, curtains, wallpaper and paint in here all need to be redone. So basically the entire room except <laughs> they're so bad they're good I love that mirror as bad as it is so looking out over the front of our property and my horses how good is that beautiful and so far nothing in here is as planned that couch was meant to be in the other room the living room TV wasn't going there hello boys just saying that nothing in here was <laughs> where it's meant to be but that's where it's fitting. This is the downstairs bar and pool room. Eventually, Edward's just exploring. I've actually popped him down here because he is just hell bent on running out the front or back door and falling down all the stairs. So we're just down here playing for a bit while all the removalists are still doing their stuff and the doors are open. Still don't officially have settlement, so it's really awkward. <laughs> Not knowing if we get to stay here tonight or not. And then where the hell are we going to go with a kid and no furniture and four dogs? Because I don't know where any of the stuff is that was meant to be staying out. Um, oh, he just opened the window. Like, you know, his clothes and the porter cot and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully it all gets sorted. It's meant to happen at four o'clock now instead of two. It's gone from midday to two to three to 3.30 to four. And so we just chill and try and stop feeling illegal, I guess. Just want it to be done so I can relax and be so excited. The old owners left us a beautiful card and a big bottle of champagne and a little honey budget toy for Edward. So that was very nice of them. Yeah, so this will obviously have to be rendered down here and have some modifications done to it, but it's a cool space. Um, be great for him as a teenager growing up and having like a boys retreat down here or kids retreat or whatever rumpus room he can do what he wants with two big fireplaces built-in bar there's a toilet down here um and a big storage room and stuff so yeah it's awesome just very brown and very bricky not a uh, house tour chandelier master although it's actually the smallest bedroom a very pregnant me in the window walk-in robes cupboards toilet Ensuite, which is horrific and will be tweaked accordingly. I need to make the bed up and sort the furniture out, obviously. 
Coming in through the front door is a cloak cupboard, <laughs> cloak cupboard. Lounge room, living room, dining room, whatever you call it. This room's massive. Coming down here, dining table. I just pop the fish in but I've only done like a third of the tank because I'm knackered and they'll be right for one night. That's the study in there. That's an Edward playing. If I can find the light for the study, the lights in this house are like, oh, there we go, it was an easy one. That's it, that's the light. I use the term light very loosely. Anyway, study. All these windows, outdoors. Ow! <laughs> and then this joins onto the kitchen, which is a, a massive mess and very brown. Do you want me to put the fire on? I do want you to put the fire on. It's like ready to light. You can light Let's it. go then. Light it. I will. Uh, another living dining room. Let's see if we can put the lights on. Logically, there's no light switch here for this. Um, this makes no sense to me. Where's the light switch? Master bathroom, which is again, disgusting. It needs to be just absolutely destroyed. Um, the whole light's all the way down here. Oh, that's so weird. And that again, I use the term light loosely. This is uh, gonna be the nursery. Lots of storage. Everything needs a lick of paint and a lot of love and a lot of fixing up. But we'll get there. I'll just shut that so it doesn't play with furniture. Another sliding door. So sliding doors that side and this side and there to go out into the little balcony area. And then we've got Edward's room. Which again, needs a lot of work. And then down there is the laundry. Another toilet separate. And then we have... Downstairs, which was the basement, um, the bar area that I was in before, and a massive, massive, massive garage, and a downstairs storeroom, and all sorts of stuff down there. Ah! Kid just bit my leg. <laughs> Splat. Sorry, Bob. You're tired. I know it's been a long day, hasn't it? Bedtime? Yeah. This is so nice. The um, puppies are just exploring, having a good old sniff around. And I am sitting in front of the Canara. Edward's gone to bed early, like an hour, two hours early. He's just exhausted. We all are, <laughs> but we're in, we're officially settled. I'm so happy now. No hot water yet. I really wanted a bath or a shower. I smell with the power of many, many men. Um, but yeah, Cam's just going to get takeaway. We're going to get pizza and be fat pigs and just relax and sit down. We have not even sat down yet. It's just been, what it would be like 12 hours now of nonstop more than that and stress and angst and yeah. So warming up in front of here and then dinner. Hello doggies. And then bed, 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 bed. And then <laughs> start unpacking tomorrow. Do it all then. As long as I've got sheets, I don't care.